Well, this is the beginning of the 10th day of framing. It's on a Saturday. Um, nobody's really done anything yet. Just uh, a little bit after 7. And so um, you can see the RV side is looking pretty complete, um, at least externally. Some um, fire blocking, you know, that needs to get put back in from tilting the wall out, putting the strap there and stuff. But um, the bigger progress over the last couple days has been on the living side. So the headers and stuff for the garage door up. So now you can really see this is the big door. This is the shorter but wider two car door. So this is a regular two car garage door um, framed opening. Um, we had the strong walls in last time, but um, we've been working on the stacking kit here. And so this strong wall right here is going to tie into another 10 foot strong wall. And this strong wall right here is going to tie into another 10 foot strong wall. Um, both of those strong walls should be on the truck for Monday. And um, inside we've made a lot of progress putting the floor in. So these are the TGI silent floor joists. Um, they're kind of special. They need actually um, adhesive put on them. So that's something I have to run and get. But uh, these are supposed to be like a creak-free, echo-free, you know, really silent um, floor versus, you know, using a typical, let's say we were to use like a regular 2 by something like a 2 by 12 there. Um, so we got most of those up. A couple more to go on the other end. They require these Simpson um, special brackets here, these hangers. I had a real hard time getting those because... They can they make them for the common wood sizes, you know, a two by six, two by ten, two by twelve stuff. But these silent floor, they're actually TJI. You can even see the name on TJI three three fifty um, or maybe three sixty. I think it was yeah, it's three sixty. I remember um, those ones are eleven point uh, eighty eight tall and one point eighty eight wide. So it's not like a it's not the same as a 2x12. These these hangers are everywhere um, as a 2x12, but not as a 1.88 by 11.88 So finally got all these hangers in San Diego last night. But I didn't want to hold up the progress. So they temporarily hung them up on a 2x4. So they're in, you know, they're cutting them and they're in the right place and everything. And then we're gonna um, sneak the nails out, lift them up, slide the brackets in, the hangers in nail the brackets and then we're gonna put some adhesive. I don't exactly know where the adhesive goes, but the framers know. So wherever the adhesive goes is where we're putting it. Um, and then um, all these hangers will get installed. You can see these ones, because they didn't make it quite that far yesterday, these ones will have the hangers installed first so that we can just drop the TJI joist in. Then on the other side, um, because this side's going to a beam, so they can't sit on top of the beam. They need the brackets, the hangers. Over here, because it's going on top of a wall, it's a stacked framing, they just sit on top of the wall and they'll be anchored in wood to wood to wood all the way down. And same on the very end over there, those will be um, wood to wood, no hangers required. And you can see like right here, this ledger is built. So there's the ledger to support them. And then they do have um, these rim joists. So right here, this is a um, micro lamb, two by 12 or roughly two by 12. I think it's the exact same size as the TJIs. It's a 11.88 by 1.88. But um, this, is, this is different because this is gonna give a little bit more rigidity here on the sides. And so, that's in the plans to do that. That's an expensive board right there. And there's a few of those, one on each end, and then some that are gonna go, you know, this way to tie everything together. And then, um, so you know, this gets you a little bit more of a feel for what it'll be like in here. You know, it's a, it's a nine foot ceiling. This is the window size. Um, obviously you can see the door opening. I'll get a little further back for that. Um, so that was a big chunk of uh, yesterday. Edwin and Luis were working on this stuff. So I'll keep coming back. 
not at the back of the building yet. I just backed up into the bathroom wall. So that's kind of uh, the general look and feel of downstairs. You can see the beams. Um, you know, I may, I may leave the beams exposed. I may actually put a little finish on them because I think they're cool beams. Especially uh, the post in the middle with the uh, routed out for the bracket here. You know, I think that looks nice. So may leave that kind of exposed to so like the post and the beams, you know, we'll see at least maybe part of it, you know, maybe run drywall right up to that point and then seal it up and then leave the, some wood exposed. And then uh, the big thing um, Sergio was working on has been these smaller walls here. So I'm gonna, um, they PS, they tilted up the whole back wall here. So they've got um, mostly that handled. And then when I come back here for a little perspective, we got basically, um, here's the back wall. You can see where that's at. There's the upper window that's kind of more in the stairwell. And then here's the front, I guess you'd call the front, you know, this is the front living space here window 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 and then this wall has been framed out for the door so that would be the main entrance door so we could walk over there and we'd be you know standing here at this height and we would open the door come inside and then you could go through this door into the garage space or more accurately too you'd park in here walk down here come out this door and then um, this is where the stairs are going to go up right here. So the stairs are the next progress uh, thing that Sergio's going to work on. The big stringers are here. So those all have to get cut out, notched and notched and notched for each step at the right angle and everything. And then out here, this wall um, is for right here is like a little under the stairs storage area. The hot water heater is going to be in here. That's why I ran the water to here, so we could bring it up, bring it in, right into the hot water heater, and then bring them out and go everywhere they need to go. And then this one's going to be walled right here, and you can see a little spot for the door. You come in, and this is the downstairs restroom, so there's our toilet flange. This right here is going to come through the wall. Click, 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 and then become that corner sink, which we've already bought from Costco. Um, and so that's, you know, these walls weren't here. So these inner walls have been um, progressed. And then the next step is going to be to get all these tied into the right um, brackets, the hangers, and then adhesive. And then we're going to do an adhesive on top of each one and start putting the plywood the Tunyon Groove special flooring plywood we got here. I got plenty of it. Um, I actually got double, so I'm either gonna use the green or way over there, there's the blue. You can just barely see. They're both the same thing, just different brand. So that's gonna be the interlocking um, floor. And so there's a progress update after nine full days of framing, and this will be um, the beginning of the 10th day.